good evening guys welcome back to the sullivan family so if you watched the last vlog or maybe the vlog before anyway the one saturday's vlog um i went to b&m and home bargains and i was gonna put in what i bought into saturday's vlog but i ended up getting a little bit more than just a few things so i went in for a few things and um i got like three bags worth to be fair but these bags these big ones in b&m which are like laundry bags uh that you can buy which i bought a load to go uh move house with and weren't very good quality i bought them on amazon they're like 99p and they're massive so i bought a couple um to put the shopping in because i forgot to take bags and also to put christmas stuff in um that i can put in the house be careful what i say um yes yeah, so put christmas stuff in to like put in the house anyway um we went to home bargains and i'll show you what we've got in home bargains i needed a couple of things i can't go in for a couple of things because i always see other things that i might want so, we've got like a whole bag of goodies, I'll show you. Bag one. Whole bag of goodies, look. That's the first bag. I mean, it is mainly like cleaning stuff and bits and pieces like that, but I'll show you what we've got anyway. These were what I was talking about. Fruit Smiles and Fruit Stars. Fruit Works, that's what I couldn't remember. So, these are like looks like fruit slimes and fruit strings so these are exactly the same as the why is that shaking is it me that's shaking is it me i was at the camera i don't know these are exactly the same as the i can't remember what the branded ones are called but anyway we should have now gone up to like two pounds something these are exactly the same um, and oh, these are like, the is it fruit, like fruit factory or something? I can't remember. But these are exactly the same. And these are like one pound. They used to be 89p, but I think they might be one pound nine now. But these are like the fruit hearts. Fruit stars are the same. Fruit strings are exactly the same. Exactly the same. Um, they don't taste any different. So cheaper in there. Oh no, it is me. I'm moving the camera. So I did have a bit of a stock up on them I might have bought quite a lot of packets because I don't go to home bargains all that much um mainly because I just end up spending more than I went in for but also because I just I don't always get up to go there I'm either in the supermarket which is just and yes it's close by but if I'm doing the shopping I don't want to have to go to all the other shops as well so I kind of don't go there that often to do a shop maybe once every couple of weeks or something and the kids eat these for, they take them for school snacks and stuff. And there's quite a lot of them that will take them. So yeah, I had a stock up on those. Um, I also bought elbow grease. I needed elbow grease, so I've got some elbow grease. Uh, I've got some, oh, some new scrunchies for the shower for me and Ben. Um, the kids have all got them as well, but I think those are okay at the moment because ours have fallen apart. You know when they go all big and like all come apart, so I've got new ones then. Um, I got oh, more lint rollers because we haven't got enough in the house. There's loads of them in the house, but Olivia wanted some more, so Olivia can have them. Fruity bakes for Agnes. Florence, Florence, not Agnes, Florence, um, because she quite likes the... Nutri-Grain. And, and the Nutri-Grain bars and the Apple Bake bars from Tesco. Tesco's or Asda. So I thought she might quite like these. These were about a pound or something. So I thought I'd try her with them. She might like them. She likes things like that for snack. And she likes these as well. These melty buttons. These are the banana and pumpkin. I don't think we've had that flavour before. No. She loves them. So I've got to put some of them as well. Um, these fruit flakes, Leah loves these, and they are cheaper in home bargains. So they're like 
two pound or three pound fifty or something ridiculous in Asda and Tesco's. They're much cheaper in home bargains. Were they a pound? Yeah, I think something. Yeah, pound something in there. So much cheaper. Um, so I got a couple of those. Did, did I buy them? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. I bought them. Apparently. That's not Toxic waste. Don't know what they're for. From me. Um, oh, they're for Olivia. Oh, look, I've got Mentos as well. Am I lucky? Oh, they're for best friend. I like Mentos. Are they for you? And one of them's for best friend, and one of them's for me. All right. Um, oh, so I got oh an eyelash curler. That's me for Isabel because we've only got about ten in the house. So actually, obviously need more. In glue dots. We have got more glue dots. So we use these for when we do oh, balloon yeah. displays. Um. We use glue dots to put the balloons together and also the girls led lights fell down the other day so we use glue dots to put them back up they're always quite handy to have around the house these little glue dots and they're actually quite strong especially when you're doing balloons yeah they pop the balloon if you try to stick on yeah they do so i bought some of them to put into the balloons baby toothbrushes for flow because she likes these little ones so um some to put in the cupboard flow more i also got oh i've got some of these because um these were quite nice hair oh, clips have you got the same ones they're quite pretty these ones are like a stony kind of one girls use them when they're they doing their hair and makeup ones. and stuff and there's never enough. No, we don't have Bambi. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they were only yeah, a ones. couple of pounds. They weren't very much money. I could have that too. Um, but yeah, we're always losing them. So I bought some more for the girls. Big tea lights. Big tea lights. So I instead of the tiny them. ones. I've only got the tiny ones and they only last. If, I'm, if I put wax melts on, they only last like maybe an evening. I mean, I'm not sure if these will last any longer, but they were only 99p a pack, so I bought a couple of them. Um, oh, I bought some fruit wonders. Uh, that was bad. They're a surprise. Leah likes them. This stuff is like the best bathroom cleaner I've tried ever, and it's like 99p. Um, I used to use Flash bathroom and i think before that is there a mr muscle no not mr muscle bathroom oh yeah it was and there was a silic bang bathroom which was really really strong but this stuff is brilliant and it smells really nice as well and it's really cheap so i use this one all the time now but i can only find it in home bargains but the astonish stuff all round is pretty good so yeah i got some more of that um oh i've got a, a new candle the kitchen it's a it's a christmas one it smells like christmas 86 days it smells like christmas so i've got used to having a candle in the kitchen now and it's quite nice i light it first thing in the morning and it just takes away all the sort of cooking smells and things like that from the night before but um noah's been playing with it like boys do playing yeah, with things and now the glass has gone all black and the wicks disappeared there was only a little bit of it left anyway so i bought a new candle so i'm gonna light that tomorrow and there'll be a christmas scent in the end because it is october tomorrow it's close to christmas so it's summer halloween christmas right i also got a who's that one for eva oh a, a blender for I eva um and oh i got some some toilet these are vanilla and what vanilla and you just picked up random service i don't think that's even a word what is it let me see it says vanilla and oud <laughs> what i don't know no what vanilla and oh it smells like lynx africa am i being is that something Ood. 
or it says oud amber and oud i don't know what that is but um i never used to use these very much because they're quite plasticky but the toilets here um the drain smell seems to come back up quite a lot put it that way um so anything that can make them smell better it's normally if you've been using the sink and i don't know obviously we've had problems with the drain outside they only last like a week so i, I try not to um and like i said they're quite plasticky but anyway i bought some because um they smell quite nice and they just they, it's what they are i have to kind of try and make things smell a bit nicer um but i've also bought I've also bought some of this to give it a go. Some elbow grease foaming toilet cleaner. Um, it says lemon fresh fragrance. 12 doses, deep cleans. This is the, the only cleaner you'll ever need, obviously. I think it's like uh, two catfuls into the toilet bowl um, every day. I mean, I might not use it every day. Maybe just every couple of days because I normally just put bleach down the toilet. Um, but yeah, we're lucky here. We don't really get lime scale because the water is so soft. Um, hence why our hair is all fluffy. The water is really, really soft here. So we're really lucky in that sense. Um, because when we lived down. What's that? That's Eva. Eva's just come home. When we lived down in Oxfordshire the water was really hard so you know the washing machine everything gets clogged in lime scale so we're quite lucky up here that it doesn't but you know I like a nice clean toilet and it's not always an easy thing to keep clean especially when you've got drain problems um it does smell quite loopsy it smells quite boy it's nice though right so I've been getting these multivitamins in home bargains they've actually got quite a good section of vitamins so i've been getting these for pretty much all the older ones and me and ben um but obviously there's there's like 120 in there but they don't last very long because everybody's taking them but just you know an extra especially as winter's coming and i've also been trying to read up on um different vitamins and different things that can help with fatigue because obviously I get tired quite a lot and also I've heard a lot about collagen and things like that lately it's a bit of a minefield isn't it it's a bit of a minefield to know what other I've got a big spot it's really annoying it's a bit of a minefield to know what are good to take what are not good to take what's good quality what's not good quality so are you opening the vitamins? I got some, I bought some tablets, the other, some vitamins the other day, which were sort of an energy boost vitamin. Um, they haven't really done anything, to be honest. So anyway, these ones I looked up on and they've got quite good reviews. They do lots of different ones. But I got the, so I got the focus one. I've heard a lot of good things about lion's mane um about how it can be really beneficial in um fatigue and things like that so i thought i'll give that a go they've got b12 and iodine in as well so for mind and concentration so i bought them for me really to be honest just to kind of give me a bit of a boost and um and i know i'm tired because obviously i don't I don't sleep very much, so we go to bed quite late, get up very early. But I'm, you know, most of the day I'm, I've got lots of energy. But there are parts of the day where I could just do with a little bit more. Um, so yeah, just you know, thought I'd give them a go. And these collagen ones, I've heard lots of good things about collagen as well. Um, for obvious reasons, skin, uh, all those sorts of things. So I thought I'd give them a go and see, see if they're any good, really. It's really difficult when you, because when, when you start looking up these things, you get bombarded on the internet with all these different things telling you why this one, especially when you go into Facebook, suddenly your whole Facebook feed is covered in things about collagen from this person and that person and that person's having this and this person's doing that. And you're like, I haven't got, even got a clue where to start. Um, so I thought I'd just give these a go. Oh, they're in one big lump. Give them a go and see if they're any good. 
I know it's probably, I probably have to do it for a few months. There's how many is in here? 50. And you are supposed to take one a day. So, and these ones are, these two a day? I don't know, it doesn't say. Two a day. So, I'll give them a go and let you know if they're any good, if they make no difference, if they do make a difference. I don't know. I'll probably, I mean, I know you have to take these things for a while to, to see if there's any benefit. I've heard good things about um, turmeric as well. So they had those in there too. They've got quite a good section. So I shall let you know. It's Like I said, it's a bit of a minefield to know what's good and what's not. But I guess really you can only find out if you try look it's like having the sun on my face so i'm going to give them a go and see if they're any good so i'll let you know right i think oh that's nearly everything i got from being i also got oh, from home bargain sorry i also got i've got another bag And I got, actually what we've got inside. Oh look, there's no, oh no, there's some stuff from B&M in there as well. Right, so these I got from Home Bargains. So they're little wire memo boards. Um, I think they were four ninety nine. So the little ones, three girls, are always asking to put pictures and stuff on their walls. And Ben doesn't want them to put just will it? Because the thing is, if you, if you say yes, they will literally plaster the walls with drawings and pictures. And he doesn't want all the blue tack marks on the walls. So we said to them, I'd buy them a pin board so they could just put a few special bits on their walls. And obviously they're going to have their shelves as well. Um, so I saw these and I thought these would probably be perfect because come with little clips that they can clip things on and then change them up every now and again. Um, I thought they were quite cute, the little Minnie Mouse ones. So they're not too big and they've come with... Oops. They come with little mini bulldog clips. So I thought they can get into the habit of just like putting up couple of pictures maybe a little photo or something like that on their little boards and then changing them up every now and again um rather than trying to stick it all up with blue tack like they have done in the past um so yeah i got three of them i just thought they were really cute little memo boards i've not seen them in there before so i got them and the only other thing i got in home bargain was some of the new Mrs. Hinch Frosted Rose Wonderland washing tablets. So I thought I'd give them a go. Um, this will probably smell really nice. This is, we normally use bold, but obviously this is, um, this is the new one that's just come out. So I thought we'd give them a go. Let's see what they like. Right. I'll move on to B&M. I think he just knocked off. No, he's just come in and gone out and knocked off all the stuff off the all the clothes off the thing. Right, B and M. So I've got drawers in the lounge which have got like um stationery stuff in. So like pencils, pens, mainly for the older ones because the little ones have got their own. Tipex mice, you know, all the stuff they might need for school. Um, there's batteries. There's um, obviously up out of the way of the little ones, elastic bands, all those sorts of niff-naff bits. Um, and at the moment, they're just in random boxes. So we've bought a load of these clear ones to, these are really good because b and have got a whole range of little clear organizers. So we've got four of these size ones to put like pencils and pens and highlighters and things like that in um i think there's four of them we've got about five of these little ones for things like elastic bands and staples and all those sorts of things um and then we've got 
we've got two of them out now. There's another one of them. Another one of them. These are 150, these little ones. They're stackable as well, so I mean I can't stack them because I won't have room in the box, but you can if you need to, which is quite good. One. Then we've got these two. These ones are for batteries. Um, they're kind of mid between that one and the small one. So there's two of them. So yeah, we've got all of those. So we're going to put everything in the drawers in those to make it a bit neater, um, a bit tidier. Just look a bit, generally look a bit better. And it does at the moment. So that's all those ones in there. Uh, then we have stuff in here. Oh, I saw this. Pumpkins. So Bro can make some pumpkin cakes. Which I it thought was. were cute. It's a metal one as well. Oh yeah, she's gonna try and do cake pops with them. Or just cupcakes. Yeah, kids. Okay. 250. Thought that was quite good. Um, oh, yeah. I've got another candle. This one smells quite nice. It's winter cherries. It's a yeah. fabulosa one, so I figured that would probably be quite good. Actually, it smells quite similar to the other one, but a bit more cherry. I like this amount of cherries. Let me smell. Are they similar? No. That, that's this, they're not similar. Oh, yeah, no, they're not. What? Oh, but they do go quite well together. Not that I'm going to burn two at the same time because that's just a waste. But they are nice. So, yeah, fabulosa one. They're only a couple of pounds. They're not expensive. Sometimes when you buy cheaper candles, they don't smell very strong because they're cheaper. But, like, the Yankee candles always smell really nice, but they're quite expensive. Um, although they did have a really nice Yankee Candle gift set and it was only a fiver. Where was that? Home Bargains. Oh, well, yeah. Um, lots of uh, six little Yankee Candles. Not tiny, tiny, but sort of about that big um, in a pack for a fiver. And I thought that was in a nice little gift box. It was quite a nice little present if anyone was doing like a secret Santa or just wanted a little gift for somebody. I thought that was quite nice. Oh, but, oh actually these were Home Bargains. So they've got um, uh, concealers. They do like really good range makeup for like really cheap, for like less than three pounds for those two. They were two seventy nine, but obviously they haven't got. Every, you've, they've only got what they've got there, so they haven't got every single shade. This happened to be the shade that that they needed, um, but you know, obviously it's just kind of what they've got rather than being able to go in and pick your shade. But it's, if you can get the one that you use, it's dead cheap. So yeah, one for Isabel, one for Eva. Um, labels, I saying about needing labels for things. Labels, two boxes. Um, they've got these lights in, these Christmas lights in at the moment, which are the little battery ones. Uh, so I bought some, we're going to do a couple of like, we've seen some, uh, the girls have seen some displays in like a jar, like a um, winter scene with lights and stuff. So we've got a few sets of these. We're going to try and do some garlands as well and things like the battery ones are much easier to use for garlands and things because you don't have to worry about where the plug's going to go. So these are 269 for 25 which if you're just doing a small garland or something over the doorway or window frame or mantelpiece or whatever, they fit quite well. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we were looking at doing. That. This little, they'll have seen it on TikTok. This little scene in a jar, which is dead cute. So we're going to try and do something like that. To put with our, if anybody watched us last Christmas, they will have seen like our winter scene that we did. We're going to do the same thing. We did it on the units last year, but we're going to do the same. We've got big windowsills now. 
So we're going to do the same thing in the window sills, in the lounge and the dining room. Um, we just have to clear the window sills first because they're still full of stuff. From, we still haven't put the pictures up and stuff, so there's still stuff in there. But we'll get it done. So I've bought three of them. Um, of course, I can't go into B&M without buying some more Fabulosa. They've changed it at the moment. It's all... You can't get so much in it. Wow, that's like half a bottle missing. So I've got, I've got new flavours in. New smells. Um, new smells. Oh, I don't know actually if I know if I like that one. But anyway, they've got new smells in. So, and I need a bit of a top up. So I've bought that musk one, which I'm not entirely sure about. And the fizzy peach, which is really, really nice. To go in my collection. Um, I've got another one of these for cleaning the stairs because both cleaned the stairs with my other one yeah. and broke it. So this bit is not overly strong, guys, but it's still quite a good scraper. So we picked up another one. It's only that bit that's broken on it, by the way. She didn't break like, the whole thing. And it's just just to over zealous the whole thing there. You made it work though. The stairs look lovely. Mm -hmm. Very, very clean. All of about two hours. Um just got this to go in the little ones room for flow. I think it was like three pounds. Which considering the amount of work that goes into them, it's crazy, but it was quite cute. Cute little colours. Um I think Oh, the lights. So, um, needed to buy. We've got lampshades for everywhere in the house now. Um, apart from, I managed to get some on sale in the upstairs hallway. Are they, what colour are the ones in the upstairs hallway? They're like just beigey, beige. kind of creamy sort of colour, just with like a, um, they're almost velvety. They're in the sale in B&M. Um, the girls have got a glass one like we've got in our bedroom, like a crystally one. Lizzie, Eva and Charlotte have just got a grey one. They just wanted something grey, but it's kind of got a little fleck in it. Where did I get them from? B&M. Is it B&M? They were quite nice. They're kind of like a rough feeling. I've got like a... I can't explain it. They're, they're grey with like a little white fleck, but it's kind of a rough feeling. And Noah's got the same one. Um, we had one on the stairs which was from the other house um and that left we've got two, the dining room and the kit uh, the dining room and the lounge one are from the other house um which left us two in the downstairs hallway that needed a lampshade but i wanted something nicer than just a normal lampshade because it can get quite dark because there's no windows in the corridor bit so i wanted something that didn't take too much light away and i've been looking at these in b&m for ages and I kept thinking oh I could get them but I'm not sure they're quite expensive they were 16 99 each and I was like I could get them but I'm not sure I just kept not buying them but today when we went in um there was only two left on the shelf and they were reduced to £8.50 so see my waiting was worth it so I picked them both up um And they're pretty. They are pretty, aren't they? I'll put them up in there. So I think this needs fitting back on. Yeah. I'm quite pleased. I'm glad I waited because obviously um I got them for cheaper. But it was a bit of a chance, a bit of luck, really, that we weren't in and they were on sale today. But there's, so there's two of them to go in the downstairs hallway. I was just umming and ahhing about whether to buy them or not. But I didn't and I'm glad that I waited because now I've got the last two and they were on sale. So that's brilliant. I've got two for the price of one. So I think, I think that's everything. See, like I said, I went in for a couple of things, came out with a lot more than I went in for. But it's all stuff that we kind of needed. Um, when I think the thing is, whenever you go in, you remember that, oh, actually, yeah, I was going to buy that and I was going to look at that. 
obviously they've got all their Christmas stuff in at the moment as well. I did try and not go down the Christmas aisles. Um, Flo did want to go down the toy aisle. But they have got loads of toys in there at the moment. Um, they've got loads of Christmassy bits. Loads of decorations. Loads of Halloween bits. Just loads of stuff. Home Bargains have got quite a big section for Christmas and Halloween as well. They've got loads of stuff in. Um, so yeah. Definitely worth a visit. So that's it. That's it for my, my kind of mini haul if you like so i hope you've enjoyed the video guys don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and as ever thank you for all of your support to everybody that supports us always always more than appreciated um so yeah i can't remember what else i was going to say but that's not unusual anyway we'll see you in the next video